switch tables. All right, I'm going to put this up here. Here. Hmm, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Boom, boom, boom. This right here. Over there. So I am still getting set up, guys. Let me hurry up and tear to my food. Oh, I am hungry. Get this live shared out. Welcome in. I am still in organized because I was trying to sit down and eat as soon as possible. I'm about to share out the line. Mmm, that's such a cute commercial. I see you, Starbucks. I see you. Oh my gosh, I need to go to Starbucks. Mmm. Let me share it out. I am live. Let me skip another ad. So what is up? What is up? All right, I got that posted. Bloop, 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 bloop. Mm -hmm. All right, and I got that posted and one other thing. Sorry, I just didn't know how to text y'all. Hmm. 
It's a big behind. You want fries? Hey, Larika, how are you? All right. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb, and hopefully everything else on Do Not Disturb. How y'all doing? Thank you. My grandpa gave me this sweater. I was sharing out the live and everything. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to eat too. Mm -hmm. This is like my favorite little place in the cot. Um, I have napkins. So, let me show you my pizza. And I can eat this because it's a halal spot. I think that's why I like his spot so much. Now, I wasn't crazy about his gyro the other night I got, to be honest. But his piece is it. The gyro, I don't know if I just, because I ate all the fries, that's why, but I just, I don't think I'm a gyro type of person. I'm doing great. I keep dropping fries. I got me some good fries. And I got me some good fries. And I got me a slice of pizza. Oh, this is what I'm going to be trying out. I hope it's still some good. It's probably been about a week since I got these. I got, what is this fruit called? Dragon fruit. Yeah, I got a dragon fruit and I got an Asian pear. So I do want to try those on last night too. But I feel like this live is going to be super long. I'm trying not to make it super long, but I need to eat this fruit before I go back. My mom didn't like that I got the um the Asian pear because I think it was like $3. And she was like, you're paying $3 for one pear. Right now, I'm eating these seasoned fries and I got a pepperoni pizza with um basil on it. Once again, I like this spot because I can eat all the meat. All the meat is all the meat is halal, so I can eat it. Mm. This has got like some type of oil on it, and it's so good. Yeah. What are you doing tonight, Larika? Are you going? I know you only go live on Fridays, but do you have anything planned on YouTube? Like, right. or are you just only supporting tonight? This is a big behind a thing of fries. Like, I love the fries, don't get me wrong, but. I typically try to eat all the fries before I finish anything. I was just no way I can eat all these fries.
You're going to make your eyelash serum and put it on the website next week because you got your tubes today. I'm so excited. I think that's going to be super dope. Especially if you sell them as bundles too. You got your Christmas gloss up on your website. They were super cute. I'm going to have to run it live back so I can see how they look. Mm. You welcome, no worries. Yeah, that's what I was doing last night. Honestly, I was relaxing and supporting. I, I woke up this morning and started supporting too. So I have one, two, three, four, five packages here. One of them just came today. At this point, I don't even know what is in these packages, to be honest, except for the Fenty and this one. I know it was in those, but as far as the ones from Ornate, I honestly can't tell you what's in the packages because I think it was two unboxings ago. I didn't, I still didn't get all my merchandise. They were like having a shortage. So they sent all that merchandise, which was in my last unboxing. And I done went shopping several times after that. So I'm probably gonna have to come do another unboxing as well. Yeah, I um I was up early. I didn't really take care of my business until like four. Um, I did some errands, went to the Dollar Tree. I got some goodie bags that I gotta make. Um, so I went to the Dollar Tree, got some hand soap, um, some disinfectant spray for my car, um, dropped off the rent at uh, the parents' uh, trailer, or for the parents' trailer, put some money in the bank, and that's pretty much it. Thank you, Fifi, for sharing out my live. I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for stopping past and showing some love. Are you going live tonight, Fifi? I don't know. I was just watching you earlier. Yeah, today was really restful because um, although I went to sleep super late, I got up at like 8.39. I showed some support to some people, worked on my side biz, and then I took a little nap. And now here I am just back in. The Dollar Tree is where I spent most of the time, to be honest. Ordered my food, picked it up, and now I'm here on live. Not tonight. I am next um, Wednesday and Saturday. Oh, okay. I need to put a schedule together as well. I think my schedule, honestly, where I want my schedule to be is that I go live on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, possibly. Not Monday. I think it's just Friday, Saturday, Sunday, go live. And then show support like on one specific day which for me would be one of those days as well. I would tell them break this weekend. I get that. We all need to take breaks. I was saying about taking a break from social media altogether tomorrow as well, honestly. I'm still thinking about it. I most likely will. Mm. 
one package. I'm almost done this pizza. I woke up and had some super sweet cereal. I don't like super sweet cereal. It was um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I think. Cinnamon Toast. No, French Toast Crunch. French Toast. Something. It was something French Toast. They definitely are. I personally think, for me, I, I need to take a break at least once a week from social media since that is something I enjoy doing. <laughs> Sundays seem to be the day that I actually take the break. And most days I don't plan it. I don't expect I'm like, hey, I'm going to take a break today and recharge. All right, I will finish eating this in a second. I should have went live on StreamYard, so after I was done this little unboxing, I could have, you know, dropped the link so everyone can join that want to join. I really like when people join. That pizza was really, really yummy. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, snap. I knew I put that on all the way. So today I actually tried my natural energy with the cran pineapple or something. And it's actually really good. I'm probably going to be up all night from this drink, to be honest. Let me wipe it off again. Thank you. I was, um, when I got up, I was kind of rushing. I was going to do a French braid down the back, but, um, I just decided to just put it in the plaid. This is how I wear my hair every day up under my scarves. I put it in one plaid and I normally just take the plaid and I'll bring it up here. And sometimes I'll pin it and bring this back. Um, but I don't like the, the bulge right here. So then what I started doing is I started doing the two plaits and then I'll just like, I'll like bend the plait back like this and have it coming like that and then doing the other side. And it's like perfect for up under my scarves. Yeah, that crown pineapple was good. I'm finding that I don't like, um, like a lot of sweet juices anymore. So I actually brought that, I brought three juices like, two plus months ago it's probably been like three months now and they just been in my refrigerator the first juice was way too sweet the cran pineapple i can tolerate and then i have i think this regular cranberry juice but they go so well with that natural energy so this is the first one no actually this one didn't come first this one came first now this is um from Southern Alternatives, I'm pretty sure. It gotta be. I'm pretty sure it's from Southern Alternatives. Um, and they're based in, I think, Fayetteville, North Carolina. I've been following them for a while, honestly, but I, like they'll post some cute things and I like some things, but it's never been like a, oh, I have to have that. Mm, excuse me. Until I seen this. So... I was about to say, is that my car going on? All right, so. This is just a receipt. And this is how it came packaged. Going wild snap full over off white. So let's see. Yeah, super sweet. And then for me, um, oh my, I honestly brought those super sweet juices 
because I said I wanted to try different juice in my green smoothie besides just the, um, I normally for over a year I put white grapefruit or no, white apple juice or white grapes or something like that. And that was good, but now my favorite is definitely orange juice in my orange smoothies. So this is actually pretty light. I didn't know how it was gonna feel. So I have a lot of this pattern now. What drew me to this was these buttons here. So a button down. No, it's a, just a pullover. So this is the button down. I was saying something on it. There we go. So it's off white. It's just a crew. As you can see, it has that. This comes down so you can wear it open. Yeah, it's like a sweater. It is super, super thin. I didn't know it was this thin. So I actually, I don't mind it being that thin. That means I can literally wear this in the springtime. This is super, super thin. Really, really thin. It's really, really soft though, even on the inside. I honestly, Larika, I wouldn't even call this a sweater. Like it looks like a sweater, don't get me wrong, but it's so, so thin. So when you button it back up, the buttons are on here nice and it's not cheap feeling. Simple interior. This inside is really, really soft. So I got it in a small and I figured <clears throat> it'd be cute to wear. It's super, super lightweight, super lightweight. I definitely can get away with wearing this. I'm gonna look like I'm hot, but this is so thin that I really wouldn't be hot if I wore this in the springtime. So yeah, when I wear this, this is what the back look like. I really liked it because it was plain, but only this had some pop. And then only the sleeves had some pop. But like I said, it was really these little like buttons that drew my attention because I can open it and wear it down or I can button it up. So yeah, I'm really feeling this. I feel like this was a good purchase. I don't know how much I paid for it. I think I paid like 50. Oh. I pay $64 for this. Do I feel like it's worth $64? Mm -mm. $64, do I feel like this is worth $64? Hmm. I don't think it's worth $64. I think 50-ish. 40-ish being 45 to maybe 50. It was $54, but after taxes and shipping, that's when it came up to 64. So I would say if she would have took out like the shipping and taxes, of course, still add it at the end, but before shipping and taxing, before shipping and taxes being 54, I would think that this would be worth a smooth. $40, $45, maybe $30, $35, like if it's on sale. And I say that because of how how lightweight it is. I personally didn't mind paying the $64 because I really wanted it. Um, I think it's really, really cute, and I do stand by that, and I do stand by it being very, very soft. But for how thin it is, I don't think this is worth $54 before taxes and $64 after. I don't think it's worth that. I could have went to Victoria's Secret and brought a fleece for about this amount. This looks like a fleece, but it don't feel like it's really, really, really thin. And that's why I'm saying it's not worth it. Victoria's Secret has some really, really thin fleeces as well. And theirs is about, it's not really, it's not nowhere thin as this. It's a little bit thicker. Theirs, which is more fabric, is about a good, around the same price, $60 to $80. So for this to be a small boutique, um, I guess I should expect that. Once again, I really wanted this. I didn't mind paying the $64 for it. But um, honestly, because of how lightweight it is, I don't think before taxes and shipping is worth $54. I think it might be worth 
40 to 45 honestly and that's only because of how thin it is it's super cute so sorry i had to keep repeating myself so that's that i'm going to try to wear this as soon as possible but now that i know how thin it is i'll probably won't be in a rush to wear it because i can get away with that springtime uh a chilly summer night i can wear that and still you know what i mean the next one that came, I feel like it was this. I'll open a small one first. This is from Monate. Let's see what it is. Like I said, I've been ordering stuff so much, I really don't know what it is. Um, and then some of my stuff, because of how um, quickly everything was selling with my biz, I, a lot of stuff was selling out. So <laughs> I really have no idea what this is. So let's see. At this point, I mean. And then with the Black Friday shopping, I should not have spent all that money. I spent a lot of money. But I feel like it's an investment for my business because this is my business. So if I have, hey, Damien, how are you? If I have everything to tell y'all about it, then it's investing in my business. All right, guys. I should have known it was this. So... I got my Be Gentle Travel. <sighs> it is so sexy. I'm sorry. I got my Be Gentle um, Traveling Face Wash. So when I went to, just quick story time, when I went to freaking, um, excuse me, when I went to freaking VA a, like a few weekends ago, my travel caddy was literally so big because I had all full size bottle, bottles except for like two things. This is so cute. I want to show. I want to show them too. I'm gonna show them afterwards. All right. Let's see. So this is how it comes. So the skincare line that I use currently is the Be Gentle. I mean, it's the Be Balance. Be Balance is for like more like normal skin. So if you don't have any problems that you're aware of like for me i don't feel like i have any problems that i'm aware of like i don't have a really bad acne problem i'm not acne prone um i don't really have like sensitive skin um aside like my eyelids seem really sensitive to me so i did the be balance first but i want to try the be gentle because um I want to see like how how does it feel? How does it smell? So that when people come to me and say, "Hey, I have sensitive skin or I have acne prone skin," I can speak from experience. Y'all, do y'all see? Do y'all see this packaging? Like this is rose gold. Do y'all see this packaging? I don't think y'all see this packaging. I'm sorry. I am really flipping big on packaging. Like we are modern nature. Okay, so the back, it tells you what's in it. So you got the Be Gentle uh, Creamy Cleanser. You have the Be Gentle Moisturizer. You have the Berry Scrub. Love the Berry Scrub. That's the exfoliating, like, little, you know, scrub for your face. You have the Skin Revitalizing Essence. That's, like, the little miracle water, little refining water. And then you have the Sea Radiance. I don't think I have the Sea Radiance a part of my... I might have the Sea Radiance. I have to look at it. So the back tells you what all is in it. Mm. So this is for dry and sensitive skin. Now, I also want to try this because as of lately, I do feel like my skin may be drying out. It could be because of the seasons, but who knows? So I'm definitely going to be able to speak from experience when someone comes to me and tell me this. So this is Day Essentials. Look at that Freaking, I meant that freaking. Look at this case. Like, it's so freaking cute. Oh, gee. I'm sorry. I just really love packaging. Why y'all think I keep doing unboxings? Okay, so when I open it, I have the light all the way up. You have your little Monate. Um, I don't want nothing to drop, but. Can y'all see that? It's a little piece of paper. It says Monate, and it's in like that rose gold color. So cute. Why is this not the cutest 
freaking thing ever. So you have your C Radiance, once again, rose gold. This is the same material that they make the big ones out of. It's like a hard, clear, nice plastic. It's so sleek. When you take it off, you have like a little pump. That is so flipping beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Mm, that is that is some mm, that is beautiful right there. I'm so sorry. Then you have your oh my gosh, it looks just like my big one. You have your essence of re, uh, water, your revitalizing essence water. It is so cute. So, so to put this in retrospect, this is how big these are. Is that not fucking cute? I'm going to say fucking because I want to say fucking because this shit is fucking cute. And it's also good. Okay. I have one of these. Okay. Look at this. This is the moisturizer. Look how small it is. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So to show you how small it is, that's my hand. It's so cute. It's so cute. I ain't going shopping for the rest of this year, I promise you. I'm broke at this point. Now. Mm. All right. This is, so the difference that I like about this is this top is a matte finish. So it's that pink, but it's like a matte finish. Okay, Larika, no worries. So this is the berry scrub. I don't know if you all can, yep, you can see it really great. So that is the berry scrub right there. That is so, it smells so good. All of these are vegan, by the way. And then this is the cleanser, rose gold top. It is so freaking cute. Look at that. Look at that. Just, just look at this. That's how big it is. And this is your little traveling kit. Now, for me, this was perfect for me to buy because, like I said, I typically have normal skin. Like, yeah, everyone's skin dries out a little bit down at one time. I get that. So this is perfect for me to sample it and say, hey, do I need to be on Be Gentle or do I need to be on Be Balanced? This is perfect. It is so cute. Yo, I told myself a few months ago that I was broken that I need to stop shopping and every every set that we done dropped, I done brought one of that I really wanted. This is just so cute. Got your little passports, like if you're traveling, travel size. I'm put this in here because I'm gonna have to do a TikTok with this. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with it. All right, let me put this down some. All right, boom. So that's that. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm taking all y'all time. All right. So, so should I open my Fenty next or should I open my... Hey, Slim Jim, how are you? Should I open my Fenty or another... I'm sure that's another Monique. I was killing Monique website. I'm trying to tell you. I'm opening this box. Cause I definitely know. I don't know what the heck can come in a box this long. Like, it's, it's from Monique, so we about to see. All right. I opened the door and seen this on my stuff, so I'm like, what the heck is that? Slim Jim, what up, homie? Okay. So this is just my receipt. <gasps> Guys, this is my hair straightening brush. Okay, now I know what it is. Cause I'm like, what the heck could come in the long box like that? All right, so boom. This is how it was. All right. This is what you see. You see it? All right. More paper. All right, cool. These little bags are like so freaking cute to me. Not a much love passing through watching my peoples. Thank you so much. She ate that red, that little hot stuff this morning. Like it was nothing. Like it was too easy for her. I was just like, baby, that's hot. All right. So we're going to open this first. <laughs> Hurry, y'all. I know y'all like, girl, sis, calm down. It's not. Okay. Can we just start at that? 
Now, I didn't tell y'all this, but I just told my best friend this a few days ago. I love this little rope. Like, this little rope is, like, one of the themes of my room that I got a couple DIYs coming up with different little ropes like this because I just love it. Okay, so we have a purple cloth bag. I think this purple is, like, we have, um, this purple is, like, I want to say it's a branded color of Monet because I see this purple around a lot. So you see the rose gold a lot. You see that pale pink. You see this purple, like, a darkish lavender color around. So it's a cloth bag, so I'm really liking that because I can pretty much use this for a lot of things, just like my other cloth bags. Thank you. She the spice girl, real talk. No, she, no, real talk. She is. She said, and then what got me? And she was like, "Oh, this a this was like a baby level." I'm like, "Sis, that was not a baby level. Like that was that was not baby level." Okay, so let's see what's first. So what made me get this one was um, the items that came in this bundle I don't already have. So I want to try more items. Like I want to try more products. So once again, when you all come to me and you asking me something about hair and skin, how to either one, grow your hair out, <laughs> or two, how to clear your skin or whatever, I want to be able to, to be like diverse and not just say, oh, I only use these five products. You know what I mean? So I have the smoothing shampoo. For rebellious frizzy hair. Ooh, since I started like showing mine, yeah, I feel like it's rebellious. She left without still drinking anything. Mm. Mm. Now that's crazy. This is what it looks like. Now the bottle looks like my um. I'm actually almost out of my renewal shampoo or my Renew Shampoo. That's a part of our, hydrat our hydration system. So I'm actually happy that I got this one in. And I had that bottle since like, I think January-ish. Okay, I got the Frizz Fix uh, Smoothing Hair Primer. I might have some of this already, but hey, thank you for coming back, Larika. Um, because I do plan on curling my hair. That's <laughs> what I got, y'all. Yo. I don't think y'all understand how excited I am for these products. Like, I'm gonna, y'all gonna see. So I have my little Frizz Fix. This is a 12 hour of smooth perfection. I haven't used my other one yet. So about three to four times ago when I ordered like three or four times ago, I did start getting um, like products for when I straighten my hair. So I'm still protecting my hair. So this adds to that. Cause I got the straightener now. Woo! Y'all, I'm so excited. All right, I'm sorry. So I have the smooth and deep conditioner that goes with this. And this, once again, is for rebellious frizzy hair. Now that I'm actually wearing my hair out, I remember how freaking big my hair gets. So I have a volumizing set, a volumizing line in my bathroom right now. I don't use the volumizing line because I have volume, baby. I have volume. So I have the shampoo and the conditioner of the smoothing. I don't, I forgot what this is. Look how they wrap that. I bet they seem like good products. No, they are really good products. If they wasn't good products, Lurica, I wouldn't spend all the money that I spent on them. Let me just be honest because they ain't cheap, but they worth it. Um, like I said, I had my, my Renew Shampoo, the hydration system that I typically use. I had that since like January because you don't have to use a whole lot. So this is the Glossy Miss Shine. This is way taller than I thought it would be, honestly. I have a lot of little small cans like this, but I don't have the Glossy Shine. So this is from Luminous Shine and Hair Brilliance. So I guess after I flat on my hair, I spray this on and it's going to look like all that wax buildup that y'all got on your hair. So basically... When we're putting these products in our hair and it's making it look glossy, it's making it look shiny, and you're like, ooh, my hair's so shiny and so straight, you're really coating your hair with the wax. And the wax is what's making it look shiny. That I am breaking down off my hair by using these products. So I'm really excited that I can have the shine on my hair without having that wax. When you have that wax on your hair, it starts to like, like 
your hair isn't breathing anymore. So for me, I had a problem where so my hair would like stop growing like here. Like, yeah, that's long. Like without this braid here, yeah, that's long. But now without this braid, my hair is like, I can pull it down to like my navel. So it's, it's growing. It wasn't growing because that wax was stopping it. Uh, okay, so let's see. The super fine mist creates a high gloss finish, providing brilliant shine without weighing your hair down. I don't know about y'all, but when I used to flat on my own hair, let me tell you how I used to do it. I used to put some grease on it or some oil on it. Then I hit it with the flat ons. Can y'all say frying my hair? Frying it. But we ain't gonna talk about that. Then I have some heat protectant spray. <laughs> Now, this I actually don't have. So, like I said, out of this whole thing, one, two, three, four, I have four products that I don't already have. I think I already had the Frizz Fix, but I don't have the heat protectant. So, do, do, this is so the Frizz Fix, let me see exactly what this is. This is a lightweight leave in pre styling treatment, helps control frizz, defends against humidity, and long less the definition, shine, and smooth look. So, I'll put this on my hair when it's wet. Let's see, a thermal protectant leave-in spray that strengthens and protects the hair, fragile hair, up to 450 degrees. So I will apply this to tail dry or blow dry in our hair. How where would I apply this? Styling, add product to hands. And so this will go on my wet hair. This will go on like tail dry hair. So when I first got out of the shower, I'll go ahead and put on a frizz fix. Then I'll put my hair up in the towel. When I take a towel down or blow dry it, that's when I'll put this on. This will go on after it. So as you see, with this bundle, I'm about to show y'all something else. Now this y'all, all right. So let me just be honest. I was stuck between these and the diffuser. My hair, <laughs> hair dry days are over. Are you a little bald over there, Slim Jim? <laughs> Because if you are, I got something for that. <laughs> but I was stuck between, this is a straight and smooth two-in-one cosmetic um, straightening brush. I was stuck between this and we have this mini traveling blow dryer with a diffuser. Now, I see so many girls using this diffuser and getting these bomb-ass curls. So I was like, ooh, I want some bomb-ass curls. But realistically, hey, peanut butter, happy Saturday to you as well. Realistically, I don't really wear when I wear my curls I wear air dry curls so I got air dry and cream in the bathroom I don't really you know da, da, da. but that's what it look like so this is what it looks like these are professional tools so this is what's on both sides I just tell you what it is I really like this box it's really sleek now instead of them doing rose gold with this they did a silver I think the silver complements the white as well. Then you open it like this. Let's see. Okay. Comes in a white bag. This white bag is like a velvet bag. It has Monate on it. Now, Monate stands for modern nature, guys, if you didn't know that. Not bold yet. Yeah, has starting to stand almost 15 years ago. Just keeping it on. I got something for that. If you want to hear full of hay, it's like, no, but I do. So this bag is super cute. You see the Monet on it. Like I said, it's velvet. Now the handles on is like a, um, it's a really wide, like, but really thick ribbon type material. I shall return. Thank you so much for even stopping through. I'll see you soon. So, yeah. Okay. It's a pretty long cord. As you see, it comes like that. Take this off. So, it has an on and off and a temperature set, and then it has ionic on it. So, on the inside, you see Monate's again. On the outside, you see Monate's. And you see on off temperature setting and ionic. So these are, they feel almost like a thick plastic. And then on the inside ones, the thicker ones on the inside look like they have metal on it. So the outside ones is like a thinner, like plastic feel. And then the inside is, I guess, where it actually gets hot, hot. 
So I'm super excited to try this. At first I was just like, let me get the diffuser because with my type of hair, I don't think it will really do anything. So we gonna see. Even if it get a little scary, I'm gonna be excited. It's so cute. It is so freaking cute. So y'all know I'm going to come back in. Do my hair for y'all, whatever. How can I get some ass curls? Oh, bomb ass curls, sorry. You can get some bomb ass curls, Peanut Butter, because you got that hey hey. You got that hey hey. You already got bomb curls anyway, Peanut Butter. What are you talking about? You got some bone curls already, peanut butter. So let me tell y'all. So I got a whole styling set. Let me explain how. So I get in the shower. I shampoo, I condition, right? I get out. I go ahead and hit my wet hair, like damp hair, wet as soon as I get out the shower with the frizz fix. Go ahead and put my hair real quick, brush my teeth, put my little makeup on, yada, yada, yada. When I take it down, I put in my heat protectant. Now, after my heat protecting, I hit it with a little shorty. Drum, drum, right? And then I hit it with the gloss. So I have everything I need to achieve a nice hair, like a nice little hairstyle, whatever. Boom. So that's dope. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then this box is so cute. I'm so, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry, y'all. I really love, like, packaging. I have a really big thing with packaging, and that's probably why I keep buying Apple, because Apple packaging be legit. I don't know how to put this bag in here. Got to make sure I'm keeping up with everybody in the chat so I can give y'all a shout-out for stopping through and doing watching this little unboxing or whatever. I got a whole freaking... When I brought this, I'm going to be honest, I didn't realize that this was like a whole set. Like, I can use this and go. Like, I don't... I really don't actually need any other products besides maybe a blow dryer. So, super cute. That's that. All right, so let me show you what I got from Fenty. All right. Now, originally, I was like, I ain't going to get it for myself. I'm not going to get it. I ain't going to get it. I really was like, I ain't going to get it. But I got it. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. These fries smell so good. All right. Let's see what I got for 50. Uh-huh. Hmm. hmm. So, extra VIP memberships. So, I'm a part of extra VIP membership. I probably need to cancel it. Because I don't even know what else I want. So, they basically will withdraw $49 off my card. And with that $49, I go and I get something with it or something like that. I tried to read it and understand, but um, I didn't. So, uh, this is what the bag look like. Fenty lingerie by Rihanna. Savage Fenty lingerie by Rihanna. Now, when I seen this, I was like, I got to have it. Y'all wouldn't believe what I got this for. Y'all wouldn't believe what I got this for. When I seen this, I was like, I got to have it. Do you understand? I don't think you understand. When I see something I want, I'm going to make sure I get it. So I got the onesie for real. Like, oh my God. This feels like a sweatsuit on the outside. Like, this feels like a legit ass sweatsuit. Like, this ain't no little cheap onesie. This hand said. And carefully, it must be attached to all returned. Okay. This ain't cheap. This don't feel cheap at all. I didn't expect it to, but I didn't expect it to feel like I'm in, like I can go outside in this. Like, you you feel me? So I do like, <laughs> I do like rose gold if y'all can't tell. So this says Savage, right? And let's see what this one says. Does that say savage as well? So both of these say savage. 
the material on the outside really feel like the a sweatsuit, but the inside will feel like that soft part of like the inside of a sweatsuit, right? And then they have the little Fenty, it say Savage Fenty, and this is in like a velvet feel right here. The I'm really loving how her labels is purple, but it's written in gold. This is like a, just a purple sheet over this to give it a more purple color. Now, um, on the website, it tells you straight up, like, these fit loose. And I like that because I feel like when I come on YouTube a lot, I'm not um, dressed up. I don't see the point. When I come on YouTube a lot, I'm in lounge clothes. Like, I'm in my pajamas and I'm in my bed. So this would be perfect because I'm not going to be exposing myself while I'm on live walking around the house in my pajamas. So got a little tight little arm um, piece here. I love tight little arm um, pieces. This is my favorite sweater because of how long this is and how it makes the sleeve look like that. All right. And then it has a looser one, but it still has that at the bottom as well. And this say it just say savage all the way down. It's it looks really, really big, to be honest. But it tells you that it over like it's a big um oversized it has pockets i didn't expect it to have pockets as a hood oh you ain't gonna tell me nothing so this is what it looked like it's definitely gonna fit big and i definitely love that because that means it's comfortable like when you're chilling in the house you don't want nothing up your ass the entire time like you feel like ooh, it's like cutting you off down there so I'm definitely going to love this. This is like really, really big, like really big. And this is a small. It's actually extra small. It's extra small. I'm really liking the material of this. Ah, and then the little zipper is like the Fenty Savage thing is zipping all the way down. You can step right into it. You can see how soft that inside look. Now this, <laughs> let's compare the two real quick. So I paid $64 for that little, yeah, you feel me? I really wanted it though, so I ain't gonna complain about the price. I paid like under $30 for this. This big ass, nice feeling material. This material is some good material. It's like some microfiber cotton. I might have made that up, but this is some good feeling material. This feel like if some water, like I opened the door and it was like drizzling, it feel like it would roll right off. Mm -hmm. That's what it feel like. I'm going to be wearing the hell out of this. Y'all going to be like, yo, take that shit off. Like, <laughs> But um, that reminds me when I brought my stepdad his onesie for his birthday. My mom said he never took it off. Like he was always in his onesie that I brought him for his birthday. This, look, shorty, this is when my hip stop right here, right? This is, this is a lot of material. And I say that in comparison to that over there. Mm, this is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is worth it, shorty. This, this is worth it. Even if I didn't. Even if I got a full price, I think full price is like, I think, don't quote me. Full price for this, I think, is like $60 to $80. This hands down is worth $60 to $80. Full price. In my opinion. Because y'all see what I paid $60, $60 for. That's so thin. Look how nice and neat that fold up. Just look at it. I just want y'all to feel this. That's really so, so I can't wait to wear that, but... This Vintage Savage versus that. <laughs> yes. So that's it. All right, I got one more, y'all. And I'm going to let y'all go. I got to taste this fruit, too. So I got something else from Monet. Like I said, I didn't order so much stuff that this is really a shock for me and you. We both learned something when I open this. I actually need to go see about canceling this because unless I go ahead and get another one. It was like 65% off the website, too. Who baby. You know I had to go ahead and scoop that up for myself. I ain't buying myself nothing else for the rest of this year. Let's see what else I got. 
If y'all want to make money from your phone and do what I'm doing, let me know. I got you. How you think I was able to buy this stuff? Because I had a side hustle. All because Monet ain't it ain't cheap, baby. Another one. And another one. It's not cheap, honey. All right, so let's see what this is. My little receipt for real. Oh, they sending my stuff like real quick. This is another one of the bundles that I got. <clears throat> so this one with the bag, that was a bundle. And then this was a bundle. So this is how it's open. All right. So this bundle is like a workout bundle, right? Now, I do want to start working out from home. That's what I plan to do. So this bundle comes with, all the bundles came with um, like this little inside, uh, like you can stretch with it and do all that and you know all that. So the bag says Monate or stands for Modern Nature. I really love my brand, y'all. <laughs> y'all can't tell that I love my brand. I make money from stuff I actually love. I make money from doing what I'm doing. Do that make sense? Well, if it don't, it should. So I guess this would be the little hand pieces that I would put on there. All right? Some other little pieces. Now, I don't work out, so I really don't know what this stuff is. Look like they gave me some instructions. So this is the Resilience Band Kit, right? The Resilience Band Kit. Now, what I do remember, this is like the little bald thing. Or maybe this is, I don't know, because I don't work out. Now, each one of these are a different weight, right? I probably should pull it up so I can read it to y'all. Each is like a different little weight or whatever. Oh, drop one. So let's just guess. Hey, King Avo. Let's just guess. I said we have a 10, 20, 30, and a 40. Or maybe a 20, 30, 40, 50 type thing, right? And I will connect these. So like these, oops. And I would stretch with them. Now y'all know how that stretching work. I bow. Y'all know how the stretching work. Um, let me see. Okay, so the green, this is 15 pounds, all right? The red, this is 20 pounds. I don't know where the pounds at, but okay. The blue, this is 25 pounds. And doop, 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 doop. the black, this is 30 pounds. Okay. That one, that one is a little heavy. I ain't gonna be effing with that. This yellow is 10 pounds. So we have the foam handles. We have two foam handles. All right. We have the ankle straps. Okay. That's what those are. So you can put them on that. You'll connect it to each piece. And then that's when you would do something. And then this right here is the door anchor. So I would put it on the door and I guess that's when I would pull like this, or I can even do it with my legs. And then, of course, I have my cute little bag to keep it all in nice and neat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Your girl gonna be exercising in the house. It's so cute. But that's not my favorite part about this. This kit, this is that's this is not my favorite part. I'm be honest with you. I'm about to show y'all my favorite part. I'm about to show y'all my favorite part. All right. Just give me one second. Let me make this a little neat. All right. We're going to put that back in there like that. Oh, I got a hangnail, and I had it for like three days now, and it's like really bad. Not like infected or anything like that yet, but it hurt. So that's why it's taking me a little bit longer. Boom. Another cloth bag. Y'all know I got something about these cloth bags. Oh, Monate's on the side of it. So that other one probably got it. Oh, look at that. 
Monate on the side of this one too. I love that they just put that little cute little name on everything. This one got the same little rope. I really love our packaging. I'm kidding what nobody said. We got the best packaging, hands down. All right, so boom. Cute little rope. I am great. I am opening all my little goodies and I can't wait to partake in them. Cause y'all know I still got my other little goodies that, that I still need to partake in. What's this over here? Uh, that's some trash. All right, boom. So y'all know, y'all know I had to get some more of this. This is our natural energy. This is what I'm drinking right now. Y'all, I'll be drinking the fuck out of this stuff. Do you hear me? I drink it because, for one, it don't give you the jitters and it don't give you a crash. And it tastes so good. Like, it complements the strawberry side very, very well. That's my favorite way to drink it. But as you know, today I tried it in a different juice and it tastes good in that too. If you're like, I don't really do the juice. I don't want to do the sugar. That's fine. It's a very burful flavor. Burful. So um, <laughs> you can just put it in water and you'll be fine. So 30 sticks of the natural energy. I'm still working on my first 30 sticks of the natural energy. Um, now this is great for if you know you're going to have a busy morning. Pack one of these in your bag. I personally carry one of these with me because this is a great like pick me up when I get off of work. So like if I want to go drive some lift, I have another boost of energy. So I'm not like sluggish or fatigued behind the wheel. I drink this and I'm great. The other night I thought I was going to drive lift and I drank one of these. And girl, girl and guys, I took myself right home. I was so busy in here like cleaning and stuff like that. I didn't even realize that it was 12. Then at 12, I laid down. I started connecting with people um, and all that turned into 3 o'clock. It doesn't make you, like, crash hard. It doesn't make you, like, super sluggish. I really love this stuff a lot. Also, what I love about this packaging is you can even open it from the top or you can rip it off and rip it all the way around, and it just it's just open. I like that it's a sleek white box, so it looks very neat on your counter. You just take one and you go... Right, I limit my sugar intake. Yes, I would. I I would. Um, that's why I drink this. Honestly, the way I do. Um, I told you I had a super sweet juice. That I really didn't like. Now, in the super sweet juices, like I said, I brought because it would give my green smoothie some flavor. This has like a little slime yellow. Now, this is great, right? Let me show you what else I got. So, I am still working on my total greens. Now, the total greens, this is like your um, your greens and fruit superfood mix. I drank these for two days in a row together. So, I drank this on my way out. So, I added a scoop of this to my green smoothies. And it actually tastes really, really good in my green smoothies. It adds like a bird full flavor to it. Hey, Sheree, how are you? I miss you. So that's what this is, right? Later on that night, I had this. Both of these also help with your mood. So this one is a boost for your body and mind. So that means it help you concentrate, help you focus. And then this one actually helps with the mood. It says support digestion, immune health, energy, and mood. Good source of fiber formulated with um, known ingredients in antioxidants. When I did both of these together, this one in the morning and this one when I got off work, I was in a very great <laughs> positive mood. Like, Blair, I took her out to walk that night and she was like all over the place. Um, but it didn't even phase me. Like, I don't care. Any other time I'll be fascinated. I want to, um, I was going to be down there. I wanted to bring my dad down to see Billy for his birthday because my dad's birthday is on the 7th. But out of nowhere, Aunt Kim sent um, Alondre to pick up my dad and his daughter. So my dad is actually with Granddaddy right now for his birthday, which I think is super dope. Either way, either with Granddaddy or with Billy, I wanted him to be with y'all. So that's 
that's my last one right there. So that's everything. Do y'all want me to go over everything I got again? If you wasn't here, like Cherie, Avo, do you, give me a thumbs up if y'all want me to show y'all everything that I got one more time before I try these two little, these two little, yeah. But when my dad get back, I do want to bring him to bring him to see y'all when he gets back. I'm not sure how long he's gonna stay. Andre said probably like two weeks. Cause I got a two week vacation. This is so good. If I did not like this stuff, I would not drink it. And it's really good. I don't even be drinking it sometimes for energy. Sometimes I really just want to taste the flavor, but it comes with that energy. It comes with the focus. And it comes with a great mood. So, if y'all don't want to see everything all over again, I'm about to try these two fruits. Hopefully, they still some good. So, I have the Asian pear, and I have the yellow dragon fruit. Now, as y'all know, we got a dragon fruit drink at Starbucks. I don't really like it. i am be honest. I don't like it. I don't like the dragon fruit drink with water, coconut milk, or lemonade from Starbucks. I don't like it. It has a unique flavor. I don't like it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like it. Um, the very, very, I don't like it. <laughs> and all of these have like a very, very like flavor to it, but it's good. But the very, very, I don't like it. Kai, you got the Pocahontas point today. Shut up, Alvo. Trying to make fun of somebody. It's a little wet right now. I can't wait to go use my little two-in-one. <laughs> y'all, I'm about to be y'all. Uh, uh, uh. That wasn't even words, but that's how I'm about to be. All right. I need to take this to my room. So y'all want to see? All right. I don't know about dragon fruit. If I don't I don't like I don't like that drink. So I don't know if I'm gonna like like I said, my mother, she did not want me to get this pair because it was like three dollars. So it better be a good ass pair. Oh, I didn't wash these. Do I gotta wash these? I probably should. I mean, I don't even know how to open this. I'm gonna Google how to open this um this dragon fruit. How to eat dragon fruit. I should have did this before I got on. Okay, select like the right red. Oh, yellow. Let me put yellow. Okay, boom, boom, boom. To prepare dragon fruit, you simply slice it in half and then scoop out the firm flesh with a spoon and eat it right out of the shell. Carefully use a sharp spoon to remove to cut and remove the flesh of the skin. Slice away like you like. All right, boom. It actually started growing now, Sharif. For years, it wouldn't grow past here. Like, without it being in a ponytail, it wouldn't grow past here. And now it's actually starting to grow. So they said I split this in half. So we're about to split this in half. Got my knife. The knife ain't really clean because I've been opening boxes. I'm going to go clean this, this stuff real quick, y'all. Give me a second. Let me go clean the knife, clean the fruit, get a spoon. It's a lot going around. All right, I got me a little spoon or whatever. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put this over. I'm gonna say that for last. We're gonna do this pair first. Let's see how it tastes. All right, let me. Thank you. All right. Because, well, I, let me see. Hey, Siri. What is an Asian pear? Okay. 
So it's definitely a low. Pyrus parafolia is a species of pear tree native to East Asia. The tree's edible fruit is known by many names, including Asian pear, Japanese pear, Chinese pear, Korean pear, Taiwanese pear, apple pear, zodiac pear, three halves pear, papal, and sand pear. Do you want me to keep reading? No. I mean, damn, sir, I knew where it came from. It's in the title of the name. I thought maybe you will give me a description of what it tastes like, but all right. So it definitely was, um, it, it was a little tough. Not tough, tough, like a bad tough, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. This is what the, like, what the little seed looks like, what the skin looks like. Let's see what it smell like. It smells like a pear, you know. What a pear smells like. Let's cut and see what you see what I mean. Like it has a it's kind of it's firm. It's firm. It's definitely feel like firmer than a regular pear, in my opinion. Pear looks good. I hope it's good for three dollars for just this one. All right, let's give it a try. So the skin is definitely tough. It's definitely tough. Like, I'm literally pulling the skin off of the pear. So let's see. You can literally peel the skin off the pear. And this is what I thought Siri would maybe pull up. Like, how does it taste? You know, how is it normally eaten? It doesn't have a strong taste to me. It's a very light, light taste. I never tried the fresh pear. I think I have not all the time, honestly. Larika is not something I just go to market and be like, let me get some pears. So you can definitely just peel the skin right off very right, easily. It's very firm. I don't know if they maybe cook with this. It doesn't. It doesn't really have a flavor. It doesn't really have a flavor, guys. Like, to be honest, like, this is something, look at this. You can just peel it right off. This is something you would add to, like, maybe your smoothie to give it whatever benefits it has. So, like, if it's rich in fiber or rich in antioxidants or rich in something, you can add this to your smoothie and you won't even know what's in there, like, to be honest. Pulling off. Pull that off. Take it up much time. Pull that off. Take up too much time. Pulling it. I mean, but if you try to eat it, like, this is hard, Ivo. Like, you can't eat this. Now, look at this. I'm going to try it. Eating the skin... You're literally chewing it until the pear inner part is out, and then it's like chewing on paper. Yeah, it, yeah, that is a bummer. It doesn't taste like, oh, I must have this pear. It doesn't taste like anything. So I'm going to go make me a smoothie tonight out of this um, so that it doesn't go to waste. And this is what the dragon fruit looked like, the yellow dragon fruit. I did not know this was a plant. I was, or fruit i was completely ignorant i thought dragon fruit was something that starbucks just made up once again i don't like the drink i'm not up here to sell y'all on everything i don't like the drink <laughs> like i don't like it mm -hmm. that's what the inside look like so this we cut down the middle let's see this is what the back look like I just feel like something's gonna come out of this that I don't want no parts of. Like, made me want also make you want. Yeah, I'll make you want Sean because you're not gonna taste the pear in it <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, you have a point. Lol. Sup skin. So we're gonna we're gonna open this. I swear to God, I'm in this little ass corner. If something is in here that I don't want no parts of. I'm gonna die. Like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself trying to get away. So the skin is very hard. Oh, I don't like the way that sounds. That sounds real wet and I don't like the way it sounds. 
That was very wet sounding. So this is what the inside look like. I ain't on front. It's cute. The inside is cute. It's real cute. Let's see what it smell like. You must don't like anything I see. But shut up. Shut shut up. Shut up, Damien. Shut up. Let's see what it smell like. It has a very faint smell. Very faint. It almost don't even have a smell. Like, where did this fruit come from? Hey, Siri. Where is dragon fruit from? Here's an answer from Healthline.com. Dragon fruit is a tropical fruit native to Mexico and Central America. Thank you. Bye. All right. Okay. They're good. They're, are you lying to me, Sean? So it's a Native American fruit. Once again, I'm learning something. Um, like I said, I thought Starbucks just made this poor boy ass drink up. So let's try it. Okay, so it's very uh, wet. It's very soft. The texture. It don't have a smell, so I, can't, I don't know what the hell I'm getting myself into. It's very soft. It's like a, you know, the squishy part of the, like the, the watermelon, like the squishy parts like that. The seeds are not hard, but it gives it a nice crunch. When I first bit into it, it tasted almost like it had some weed in it, but it's a very, it's a very, it's a very light flavor compared to that off-ass drink at Starbucks. This, the drink at Starbucks is a re really unique drink, in my opinion. I don't like it. <laughs> I think I told y'all that, though. I'm just being honest. I don't want to be up here, like, pump faking and all that. Like, I really don't like to drink. I have to drink that with a lot of peach. And I don't have a real flavor for real, like... <sighs> It's a really, really light flavor. It's like a kiwi fruit. That makes sense. Kiwi have more flavor than this, though. It's not a bad fruit. Like, the that Asian peach is not bad. It just don't have a flavor. Face tells it all. What is the point of this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Thank you for sharing out my live, Avo. I feel like... Once again, if I was to put this in my green smoothie right now, I won't be like, oh, the hint of that dragon fruit gave it... Mwah. Like, no, I won't know it's there. So it's more like a... Whatever benefits this have, like health benefits... If I was in Mexico right now, yes, I would enjoy a nice cold-ish room temperature dragon fruit. It's a it's a nice lightweight fruit, but it's not like a, you know how you just have a taste for a strawberry, you have a taste for a watermelon or an apple. It don't give me that. It gives me like a this look nice on a plate, I guess. Mukbang? I guess it kind of did turn to... It started out as a mukbang because I was fucking them fries up and I was fucking up that pizza and it's still right there and I need to finish it. But I brought these two fruits from the market with hopes to come up here and try two new fruits that I was ignorant about and to kind of talk to you all about it. So yeah, like this would complement my energy drink very well. When I put it in my mouth, the first taste I taste is weed. I'm sorry. I don't smoke weed, but it's just like a really, that's just the first taste I get.
Chick gave me some watermelon grapes. Right. Like, you know how you have a taste for fruit. You're like, you know what? I got a taste for cherries. Or I have a taste for watermelon grapes. With these two fruits, I would never walk in the market and be like, dang, I really want an Asian pear. No. Or dang, I really miss the dragon. Like, no. No, it do taste way better than that Starbucks drink. I'll tell you that. The Asian pear is very firm. I don't know, maybe because I don't eat pears, maybe all pears have a is firm, but it's not like the smushy feel. It's not like that. So yeah, you can just peel the skin right off. You don't want to chew on that skin. It's not chewing on paper. Wait, a fruit that tastes like weed? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like oh, like. When my first bite into it, I tasted ten hen of weed. After that, like, then yeah, you don't taste it no more. But to me, it, I think that's what weed tastes like. I'm just being honest. It tastes like that was the first taste I get from it. So that was that. You have your Asian pear and your dragon fruit. Oh, sorry. Let me get the skin off. Asian pear. Very firm, firm skin. Don't really have a flavor. Yellow dragon fruit. Very smushy and wet. A hint of a little crunch from the seeds. Don't really have a flavor. And yeah, that, that was that. Did anyone want me to show y'all again what I got? For those who missed it. Like, Damien, you were here. Avo, you wasn't here. Sheree, you wasn't here. Sean, you wasn't here. Y'all want me to show y'all again where I got because I will show you. I just want y'all to try this, um, this drink. Oh, wait, it hit something from Cherie. I'm sorry. Oh, it hit, yeah. I'll hit the Asian pearl. Oh, is that an explanation point? Because it looked like the sweet pearl. You'll try it? Yeah, it's not bad. Neither one of the fruits are bad. I'm just saying. I'm not going to walk in the market and be like, I got to have it. Like, no. So, <laughs> I got the Fenty Savage. A uh, little. Let me put this over here. I got the Fenty Savage little uh, onesie. It's super big, but this material feels so good. Got pockets. Yeah, it's rose gold. And say savage and rose gold. It got like little open feet. Got a little like that or whatever. Now it is super big because this is an extra small. So the material on the outside feel like a sweatsuit, but like with a slightly water resistant slight feel. And then the inside is a like really soft cottony type feel. So that's that. Mm. Or maybe I should do it like this. Alright. Y'all see how long the legs are? <laughs> I have to fold the legs like three times. Okay, boom. So that's that. Then I got my Be Gentle Traveling Skincare. This is for sensitive. I saw that. I love it. What was the one before that one? Big Simple We Lit. Hey, Big Simple We Lit. Thank you for sharing out my live, Big Simple. How you know what we taste like? I tried it before, I'm sure, in college. But that was it. And probably in high school, maybe. It was even college or high school. Um, so this is a skincare line by my biz. You have your C Radiance. That's the serum. You have your essence uh, revitalizing water. You have your cleanser. 
And to put this into retrospect, <laughs> so this is how it is. This is the reality of it. And then I have my berry shrub. Look how cute it is, like guys. Like it's so cute. All right. And I have my moisturizer. This is guys. Mm, this one smells different from the B Balance. So you got your rose gold. This is like a matte finish pink. It's matte. But then you have your little rose golds. Oh my gosh, do you see it? Do you see it? It's so cute. All right, so boom, that's it. Or oh, whatever. All right, gotta make some videos with that. So boom, that was that. Um, oh, I got this pullover. This pullover was expensive now that I'm comparing it to that. But it's, this is a super, super lightweight pullover. I really, really love it. And super, super lightweight. Like, I can wear this in the springtime. I'm not lying to you. It's super, super soft, though. It got buttons that unbutton like that. So you got the, uh, like, you got a neck that can fold over type thing. So these buttons... This is some good material as far as the buttons go. And then whatever material this is, it is super, super, super soft. It's just super, super, super lightweight. Like super lightweight. Like it's really, really thin. Like it look like a fleece, but it feel like a thin, thin shirt. And that's the only reason why I don't think it's worth that much because of how thin it is. But it's super cute. So, so I got that. I should have got the other thing I wanted. Uh, for this amount. All right. So that's that. Then I got me a whole system. Like a whole system. I got me some smoothing shampoo. I got the matching um, conditioner. I got gloss shine mist. So this is like hair, higher hair sheen. When you spray that in and sheen up your hair, it's like that. Then I got me some Frizz Fix. So that's that. And then I got me some heat protectant. Then, as you all see, it comes in like a little um, cloth bag with Monate on the side and a little rope drawstring. I really love that. And then Monate, I have professional two-in-one styling. So this is like a brush. So like smooths and flat ons my hair. It says Monate's two settings. Super cute. It came in a white velvet bag that says Monate as well. I really, really love that. So essentially, I would wash my hair. I would shampoo my hair. I would put this frizz fix in my, on my damp hair. I would put my hair up in the towel, take that down, put on my heat protectant, and then do my hair. Boom. So that's that. And now I got one other thing. I think y'all might have seen that, though. So let me just put this up real quick. Boom, boom, boom. So, boom, got that. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So you see how that's a pushy down, right? I've never seen any of our tops be clear. I just think that's so cute. And you notice how this line is silver and it matches the silver of the flat-ons. So cute. I'm sorry, I'm all about packaging. Like, I'm really all about packaging. And then as you all seen, boo, 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 boo. oh, I missed out on the whole conversation. Y'all talking to each other though, so no worries. Look like Pocahontas. That's what Avo said earlier. 
I think I know what Pocahontas look like. I think I'm thinking about something else though. Okay, I am busy. All right, and then on this one, I have my total greens. And I have my energy packets. All right, so, and then that one came with a workout set that ranges from 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, was it 10? No, I think it was 10, 15, or 10, 20, 25, and 30. And I can, like, attach it. I have the hands for it, the ankles for it, and then I can attach it to the door. And that was that, guys. Once again, it's a cloth bag, Monet on the side with the little. Yeah, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me. So that was that. All right. And that is everything, guys, for this unboxing. Thank y'all for tuning in. I need to go see when this is, because I'm an extra VIP. And I don't think I need to be an extra VIP because, like, with the extra VIP, it withdraws $50 from your account. And then the $50 turns into, I think, a credit. It turns into credits that never expire. So I guess it just stack up until I use them. So, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, if y'all want to, you know... Ask me any questions about how anything works. You can DM me. I'm definitely going to have to. I can go ahead and um, I'm gonna do give y'all a shout out. So give me a second. All right. So let me get this looking all cute or whatever. Y'all can watch me while I do this. If y'all need to go, I completely understand. I'm going to go back through the chat so I can. Avo, I still don't know what your, your Instagram is. I'm not about to keep playing these games with you, Avo. I'm not. Avo. And it's cool that you're a Ravens fan, I think, from the video I watched. It seemed like you might be a, a Ravens fan. Oh, I'm trying to see what y'all said. All right, I'm about to set this up. Y'all know what I do at the end of all my lives pretty much is I set it up and I give y'all a shout out. So that's what I'm about to do. So Blair took over my Victoria's Secret little cover that I got. It's now Blair's cover. She be trying to take over my bed too. So, all right, I'm gonna take all this stuff out of the box real quick. All right. Well, I think that's a compliment, guys. So thank you all for telling me I look like Pocahontas or whatever. Thank you, thank you. I think if I'm thinking about Pocahontas, I think Pocahontas is the one that I'm thinking about. And it's not um, it's not the other one. Um, let's see how this goes. I should have known this what it was with that long box. All right. So give me one second. Y'all Yo, got to go. I completely understand. Here go my Victoria's Secret cover that blend took over. Victoria's Secret used to be my favorite store. I used to shop there like the world was going to end tomorrow. And you, you can bury me in Victoria's Secret. Now I'll be like, I ain't really feeling y'all. I'm a gold member or whatever. They don't save. They don't tell you nothing. But <laughs> now I'll be like, I don't give two hells about what the source you got going on. All right. I'm just, I, don't, I got these little floor pillows that I like. I want to do a DIY with. But um, I don't think I'm really like feeling the, the brown of them, uh, which is why I would like do a little DIY or whatever and cover them. Because y'all know most of the time I've been sitting on the floor. All right. I'm just getting this set up or whatever so I can give y'all a little shout out. 
and show everybody what I got. So if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. I'm sure all y'all did because it looked like y'all did. So, you know, y'all can talk to me while I'm doing this. Y'all don't got it like that. Y'all don't got it like that. All right, boom. Boom. Wait, why am I missing on Big Simple Sin? Hold up. I was trying to get some extra cash for my cousin. Trying to get some extra cash from my cousin. And I was working, I think, while it fell out of my pocket. Dog, where you leave it at? I missed a whole conversation, Big Simple, and I'm so sorry. What you setting up, I had to run downstairs. So I'm setting up um like what I brought so that I can take a picture of it and post it on... Instagram and tag y'all and say thank you for coming through, but also show them what I got for all the people that didn't come through. I just like to, you know, shout y'all out or whatever. Cause y'all be y'all be looking out. Y'all really do. But sitting in here and chatting with me. The first or after that. So this always takes me like a little minute to, you know set up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Giving out some shout outs. Sheree, you might as well make a YouTube channel because I think that would be funny and I think you'll be really good at it. You can say reporting live out of Baltimore. <laughs> I think a lot of people would tune in. I think you're funny, so I, I know that work out. It feel like I lost my identity, brother. You must have lost your wallet, Big Simple. Okay, I really like the neck on this, so I'm going to show the neck part of this. All right. All right. I got to make some space for something else. Damn, sorry to hear that big simple. Hope whoever finds it will return it back. Yeah, because it's not easy trying to get like a whole nother idea, especially with this little pandemic or whatever they got going on or whatever. No. Mm -mm. It's not easy at all. Oh, I gotta put that. I'm gonna open that and do something else with that. Lady, I will have a story to tell them. Well, I'm more crazy now, OMG. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really think I um my best friend put me on to this this girl out of Baltimore who's a vlogger. And I watched one of her vlogs and I just loved it so much because she still got the accent. She's still like, she still lit it, like so she's still current. I don't live there no more and I don't got the accent. So y'all know where I'm from. I'll tell y'all where I'm from, because I love where I'm from, but it's not like it's more I feel like it's more authentic when you actually live there. But one of my best friends told me not to feel that way. She was just like, because you just, you're a different story out of Baltimore. You're not the typical story out of Baltimore. You're a different story type thing. So don't, she told me, don't feel like I'm not authentic because I am. I'm just not what, when you think of Baltimore, that's just not what you think of when you think of me, if that makes sense. Unless somebody see me go off, then they might think otherwise. But <laughs> until then, and I'm just getting this all set up all nice and cute. Hopefully, but people not nice like that no more. They'll take your money and throw your wallet away instead of mailing it. It's sad. Yeah, it really is sad. Like... What was all that for? Like, just mail it back to that person. Since when was Baltimore not crazy? Don't you come from my city, uh, freaking uh, Damien. Don't you come from my city. You stop it right now. I feel it. I feel like you're trying to come for us. We nice people. Gener generally. <laughs> General generally. <laughs> We're nice people. 
Don't you come for us. Talking about when was it not crazy. Oh, you take that back, Damien, before I start cracking jokes on you. All right. All right, boom, boom, boom. Well, I can put this right here. Oh, dang, Nightbot done timed Sheree out. Oh, Nightbot timing time you out because da, 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 da. I don't even see no cuss words in that one. Nightbot keeps timing you out, Sheree, because of what you're saying. That's why, I, you know, I'm just going, let me do this. Doop, doop, doop. Don't you come for my Nightbot, Damien. Sheree, I'm going to make you a moderator. And what making you a moderator means is that you can do things that other regular people can't do. And what that also means, uh, Sheree, is if someone comes in my live talking crazy, um, you can put them out of my live or you can block them or you can ban them. You can do stuff like that. Um, which right now we don't have no trolls in live, but you might be in a live one night. And some trolls might come in and you might have to help me out and like, like you know, ban them, block them, kick them out or something like that. Whatever mods do. All that moddy stuff. All right, boom. So now I'm going to take a quick video. And I mean, Nightbot did start it this time, but I'm just saying. Now you shouldn't go through that, Sheree, because you're blue. And everyone that's in the live, if they are in blue, they are for you. You know what that means. So if some of y'all are not connected with each other, then y'all need to connect with each other. Okay, I'm not going to speak bad. Okay, gotcha. You can probably say more now, Sheree, that, now that you're a mod. You may be able to say more. Um, but typically, Nightbot do that because they trying to look out for... Um, Trolls. You're not a troll. We know that. But some people come in here and they say some real bad stuff that can get my lives in a really bad position. And that's why Nightbot do that. Since when she starts sanitizing... Mm. One of my old co-workers just went to go sanitize um, somebody in Raleigh. That's super dope. Because I have a sanitation machine as well. So I need to get on it. Right, Nightbot's going to come for you next name. You better chill out. All right, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Let me call me. Hey, I see. Now, when I sanitize on well, now I'm be honest. I might should get me something that look like I'm sanitizing something. All right, let me do this real quick. All right, which filter look better? I'm gonna be right with y'all. Give me one second. Let me start here. Come on, it's really geeking for real. Little Ravens better look out for COVID care. You know what, Damien? You about to make me crack some jokes on you. You lucky I'm not on stream yours, or I tell you come up and say all that to my face. But yeah.
right, I think that was a cute little video. Damien, don't start it. Don't start it because you know once you start it and I start clapping back, y'all gonna say I'm mean. Don't you talk about the Ravens, Damien. Even though I don't even know. All right, cool. Now, let me put this. Y'all know I can't multitask. Give me one second. Oh, I got Savage Fenty. All right, so at Savage Fenty. At Nate Official. Oh. Okay, so I got Monate and Savage. Oh, and at Southern Alternatives. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. All right, now I got to shout all y'all out. All right, so who all here? Thanks, folks. I almost said thanks, folks, the support. All right, so we got at Cherie. All right, who else we got? Okay, we got, um, at Larica, we got uh, as is it Skins fan on there? Yeah, we got at um, Avo. I don't know which up. We got Henry. Uh, we got Damien. Okay, we got Avo. I don't know your name. I ain't about to go do this with you. I got Larica. Um, all about Fifi. All right. All about Fifi. Doop, 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 doop. We got Damien, got Larika up, oh, Slim Jim. Slim Jim. All right. We got Slim Jim. He's actually live right now. Oh, we got Peanut Butter. And. Peanut butter. Who else? We got Larika Slim Jim, peanut butter. We got you, Damien. King Avo, I don't know your name on there. Cherie, I got you. Larika, I got you. Skins, I got you. And then really, I'm just missing Avo. All right. All right, so successful unboxing on YouTube. Okay, successful unboxing on YouTube. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, boom, boom, boom. That's cute. And then all oh, y'all, thanks for the support. Da, 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 da. Boom. 
All right. So that is posted. Thank you all for coming through. I'm about to hop over here. Go make me a little, a little something. Because I use all my spinach within like two days. Go make me a little blended drink out of this fruit. And yeah. So thank y'all for stopping through. I'll talk to y'all later. All righty. Good night, Cherie, LaRica, Sean, Big Simple, King Abo, and the other people that's in here. Um, thank you for joining me on my journey as I'm confidently lost. Hey, y'all see, y'all see how that rolled off the tongue? Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me on my support. Uh, thank you for joining me on my journey as I'm... Um, Thank you. Thank you for joining me on my journey. I'm so confidently lost. Flights Prod. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming through. Dang, I wish I could have shouted you out on Instagram, you know, just to say thank you for coming through. Yeah, thank you, Big Simple, for that shout out. Thank you, Ava, for that shout out. Um, all about Fifi, thank you for that shout out. And I think that was all that gave my live a shout out. But thank you so much for that, guys. I'm going to catch y'all later. I have lots of um, little reels and stuff coming to show y'all all my products. Uh, I'm going to come back and do a live as I'm doing my hair. We're going to see how that goes. I don't think it's going to get my hair super straight because I don't really have faith in it. <laughs> so get it bone straight, but I think it's going to do a pretty good job. So I'll come live for that again. I might as well try to give it two whole hours. Might as well. So I'm going to sit up here until it's two hours because I'm like proud of myself. But it's all about y'all though. Okay, so oh, I guess I could tell y'all about this. So as you all know, I, on the behalf of my Starbucks on Capital, have partnered with my friend's nonprofit. It is H-O-H-S-H, -H, uh, Safe Haven. And it's all about no youth left behind. Um, but annually she does give out clothing and coats to the local homeless along with um like little essential bags so for those of you that follow me on instagram um if you all want to donate seven dollars seven dollars is what would be used to make an individual bag um so that we can get some um like essentials passed out to the homeless so like homeless females that don't have tampons pads things like that um, we are going to be making those. I'm um, nice to me post about it like almost daily on my Instagram. If you are, are able to give $7, that would be amazing so that we can give back to people that don't have this year. Um, I will feel horrible for not giving back this whole, with my Monate products alone, all of them, this is not even everything that I brought. I think I have like one one more set come in or something like that. I definitely spent a couple hundred. <laughs> so that's why I'm big on, you know, trying to give back because I feel like if I can treat myself, then I should be able to at least do the basics for a few other people. If that makes sense. So that's that. Um, what else I want to tell y'all? So yeah, so ideal items that I don't know if you all would want to pay shipping, but if you just have any coats or any clothes that you don't want and you have the money to pay shipping, that's fine. You can send it to my friend or you can send it to me. I think she has a PO box. Um, but like things like travel size deodorants, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, floss, comb, razors, chapsticks, uh, face wipes, socks, first aid kits, snacks, ready to eat cans with easy open lids. So for all things that a homeless person if they get it, they can take advantage of right then. They don't have to go say, hey, do you have a can opener so I can open it? Stuff like that. Um, also, adults are not the only homeless. We have homeless children out there. So, like, you know, reusable cups, travel mugs, scarves, gloves, cough drops, mints, meal coupons. If you don't feel like if you don't feel like the seven dollars is enough, then you can just go buy a little meal coupons. You can go buy a little five dollar um, gift cards. You can send them to me as well or her um, toys because kids are homeless. Um, you can get some newborn stuff for the, the homeless moms that may have babies. Um, hot chocolate packets, bottles of water, lotion, hand sanitizer, mask. It's a lot of things that you can give to the homeless. Um, 
so yeah, I think that'd be super, super dope if you all could partner up with us and do that. Yes, ma'am, we do have children who are less fortunate as well. So yeah, even if it's just like for us, we're going to go, hopefully I'm not at work, but I know she actually go out into the community where homeless people are and she start passing out. So like she'll do clothing and what she'll do is, is she'll have like homeless people come up and pick what they want. So like if it's a homeless lady, she'll come up and maybe pick out this coat and pick out that scarf and then she'll get a book bag full of the things that she needs. Everything that I just listed would be some of the things that would be in that book bag. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. That is over with December the 20th. So um, there is a cash app just for that purpose. Um, so I'll post that on my page. If you all just want to donate $5 or $7 to get like a whole complete bag, you can donate it to that cash app because that's all it's used for. Um, doo -doo -doo. So that's uh, what I'm taking a part of. As well, as you all know, you might have seen I have boxes of... Uh, I have boxes that I filled up with scarves. One of my other lives. Um, I got a hat. Oops. I need this on. So I got a hat. I got two long sleeve shirts that I can donate to the females. Ugh. I got a big duffel bag. Um, and in a duffel bag, I just put all my other stuff in there. So I got a purse uh, that I can donate to one of them um, that they can carry their personal items in. I got like another little reusable bag. This scarf is hot as hell, so this is going to keep someone warm. I got these earmuffs to donate, other scarves um, that I got to put in the boxes. I have about three boxes right now just for them. So more scarves. Some of the stuff I'm sending to um, my company has a really big gratitude program. So some of these boxes I am sending to them so that they can also donate off as well. Another box filled with scarves. This box, the two scarves that you just seen in there, I had to put in there to fill that box up. And honestly, guess what? I got more boxes now that I can fill up. Um... Me personally, I had some uh, brand new thing of witch hazel. Um, I had this for a while. It's just hairspray. I don't use it. Um, I have some shampoo that I don't use. Some more shampoo that I don't use. And then some nair for your face that I never use because I'm scared to burn off my face. I don't know how to use it, so I ain't never use it. So I'm going to donate that stuff as well. And I'm still going through and getting some more things. So, yeah, if you all want to join the movement and help give back to people that's less fortunate, um, yeah, it's a lot of homeless people that may not, you know, that may still get money. There's homeless people that may put themselves in that predicament. But at the end of the day, it is getting cold outside. Um and we all make mistakes. It is getting cold outside. And I definitely not saying like, hey, go up and give, you know, go up and give them like a hundred dollars or whatever. But if that's what you want to do, then feel free. You just can't really think about what you think they're going to do with the money. You just got to give from your heart. And I feel like if you have a little bit that you can give, then definitely give it out so that um, you can collect those blessings. But just make sure it's out of a good place in your heart if that makes sense. So I definitely love doing a coat drive. That's what we're doing and giving them items that they can use to shower, feel better about themselves. Some of them may have family that they're going to see on Christmas and this will help them go and feel comfortable about being there. If that makes sense. So that's that. That's my little spiel. I am out of here. Thank you for tuning in and joining me on my journey as I'm confidently lost. I nailed that outro. I nailed that outro. Okay. Bye, guys. If you haven't given this thought, uh, this live a thumbs up, please thumbs up the live. It helps me out a lot. Thank you all for 
you know, sticking in here with me because at the end of the day, I really love this and this is what I want to do. Um, and coming to my lives really helped me be able to do what I really love to do. So yeah, bye guys.